So we're in Fleetwood Football Ground at the moment, which is going to be the home for this anti-fracking. The threat free Sunday. Yeah. By the way, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's a lovely ground, isn't it? And uh, hopefully we'll have a full stadium on the day. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a, a pretty good event. So what what made you want to get involved? What, with the um, with the football club, you mean? Uh, with, uh, with, with the with, with the event in general. Well, um, it, it all started. Uh, it was a strange day actually because we come down to Blackpool. Uh, uh, we got invited down by Cheryl and uh, the Fleet, Fleetwood um, anti fracking uh, return, and he asked me if we would come down. And there's a meeting being held by uh, uh, a, a, a Labour. Uh, what was he? Um, a diplomat and. Uh, uh, and a uh, uh, local Labour Council, Blackpool Labour Council, had been brought down to have a talk about fracking and how we can prevent uh, fracking and what actions we can take uh, to do fracking. And generally, it was, um, it, it was a talk about some of the things we can do uh, about fracking. And at the same time, Show said to me, Oh, Andy, uh, who's the chairman of the football club, asked me uh, whether I come and give him a visit with you. Uh, to doing um, the end of season celebration for, for the football club because he, he support uh, he's a, I like Andy a lot actually because he, he supports his local community he's passionate about football he's a proper working class lad who, who cares who cares for where he lives so obviously we got down there we see the best gas right oh no when every pal goes uh, bloody hell Best gas, what, and we had to ask him what his position was on fracking. And uh, the most amazing thing he, he is against fracking because obviously he's a local lad, he lives in the area, he's got kids there, and he knows it's an unsafe technology. And he gets all his gas from the North Sea, which, uh, by the way, we've got a 40 hey. year pocket left in there uh, with the pocket we're using presently. And they just found a, there's another pocket what they found with another 60 years worth of gas. Made. So our North Sea gas supplies are a bit strong, healthy and ready to go to supply the nation to see it through to renewable energy. So uh, yeah, so he, he asked us would, would I get involved uh, with the club with the end of season uh, celebration. He wants to put a, a party on the people of uh, Fleetwood Football Club and Fleetwood itself. And, uh, and uh, of course he said yes, because he, he was an Andy Fracker and uh, he's agreed to let his stadium and the uh, Fleetwood Football Club to come out against fracking. So then, with, with the anti-fracking side of things, there seems to be three, three communities for the, for the against argument. Um, the first of which, you always get them, and that's the doom and glooms. Yeah. Uh, end of the world. I've, one person told me. Uh, the second one is the ones that are more more informed, yeah. and it's the it's the actual process that they don't like. And then the third group is the side that actually they don't like the thought of tapping into yet another natural resource. So whereabouts do you fall on? Well, where I fall is uh, I came to uh, fracking because, uh, first of all, I've been living this uh, permacultural existence, you know, on uh, sharing land uh, in a small community, growing all my old food organically and uh, cr uh, creating energy, looking at ways of di uh, creating different energies. We, we, uh, I built one community already like that. I've got a, another piece of land where I'm going to build a, another small community where it comes together. My idea is to get all these small little communities living off grid, uh, training amongst each other with, with uh, no free food, free energy, uh, no, and your basic needs taken care of by, by producing everything yourself, you know what I mean, and, and acting as community. So I've been looking at it, living and experimenting in, in this lifestyle where money is less important and community activity is, is the key word, you know what I mean, where, where you help and live and act as community. Because what, what's happened is uh, um, over the years it's been slowly it's, it's, uh, tore apart. People don't go in pubs no more because it's too it. No, and, and all things of like community nature have been like had the heart torn out of it, really. You know what I mean? So we want to try and rebuild this old ideal of living in community and not 
just for yourself, you know what I mean? It acts in for others as well as yourself. It's old fashioned, it works, and it brings about uh, good goodwill, you know what I mean? And happiness, and uh, people actually saw what this is where I was coming from. And then uh, I got asked down some Bart and Moss about the fracking, and I can I have been watching it quietly from the sidelines, thinking that uh, with the, the, the technology that's, that is saying, they will actually bring it to our country because it, look how beautiful the place we live in. It's that, like you say, green and pleasant land. It's gorgeous, beautiful. We were so lucky to live in such a diverse, we got four seasons, we win. We're incredibly lucky here, and a big thing that we would actually consider destroying our environment, it would never happen. You know what I mean? Then I got told that, um, you know, uh, that uh, it's getting down to uh, a critical point down the bar, and, and would have come down and show some support to the people. And so I went down and uh, I said, I said, they'll go down and show a bit of support. And then. Uh, are you you're still going at home, mate? Yep, still going. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, the next morning, uh, my phone started going. It was the Manchester News have got wind that was turned up down the bar and rock. And uh, I'd just been out to, I'd been out to a, a local village pub in the middle of Wales, you know what I mean? Uh, proper revolutionary pub as well, lovely people. I love the Welsh people, they're great, they're, they're great thinkers and they're, they're edibles on, on this uh, community living site for ID, you know what I mean? There's a lot of people living that lifestyle already down there, so I really like it, like it for that as well, you know what I mean? Because we need more of it. And anyway, I, I just woke up a bit hungover, really awake about 8 o'clock on Sunday morning in a bit of a grumpy mood, and uh, I started spouting, you know, and you're asking about, I think it was a bit angry, and uh, one of the angry rants what came out was that I was going to run for Salford and Eccles because I knew. Um, uh, that it's down to the local councils whether they're allowed to be uh, tracking the goals on in your local area. And uh, I just said it off the cuff and you know, in an angry rant and uh, I put the phone down and I was more worried about the way I spoke to this poor woman journalist because I weren't that nice to her for waking me up. No, I was cursing, swearing at her, you know, for, you know, for waking me up in the morning, you know, asking what the fuck you're doing, didn't you? No, we, and I spoke to her quite horribly, I put the phone out, I was more concerned about the way I spoke to uh, this woman uh, rather than uh, the fact that I said I'm thinking because I'd forgotten all about it. Um, um, it's all over the place that I'm standing for thinking, I've got such uh, support for the idea that now uh, we've gone beyond that and we, we're uh, standing for local council uh, to a full-blown political party now where, uh, where, where some of my, my ideas were well, like free food, free energy, free drinking water, uh, save the NHS, that's you know, the, the, the jewel in our crown and, uh, and privatisation, you know what I mean? Because uh, privatisation ain't freedom and it, it, it is a form of fascism and uh, Plus, on top of that, they've ended our legal aid system. So, uh, for instance, if you have got a problem, say, with uh, your, your local sort of fracking well, you've got some problems where, and you want to take it to court to make claims because your family are ill, or you've got rashes or something like that, and uh, you are no longer entitled to legal aid. So we've got all this uh, assault on, on the working classes and the poor going on, and uh, and I thought we got we we, we got to, it's time to stand up and actually do something about the situations and what's going on before it's too late. And we actually got no freedom left. We're going to privatise the police, but absolutely privatise everything. You know what I mean? And that don't work. Will wash well with me. Like I say, uh, my idea: free public transport, free energy. You know what I mean? I, I'm against privatisation. You know what I mean? And I think we should be looking at uh, ways where, like I said, we're acting in community. That's what I was looking at. Uh, living for next to nothing. Living like acting as community. So I, I thought I've got. We've got to stand against all this madness, what's going on, and, and, and try and make change and make a difference. So I, I like to think it, I have already had an effect uh, by causing the debate, what I've already created by doing what I'm doing. And if that's all I can do, then I've done my job because uh, at the end of the day, people have got to speak up for what they think, what they want, and we can't be told by bankers and corporates what we need and so that we can't join in in their society because you ain't got no money. 
you know what I mean, and you're just left on the scrap heap at the uh, and sidelines by whilst we just keep on getting richer, taking the more even more piss out of you and taking even more rights and freedoms away from you. So in the end we'll just be like squashed like fly on the pavement, you know what I mean? With absolutely no rights whatsoever, no rights to uh, legal aid, no rights to any medical care, uh, absolutely no, no even no rights to the police force because the police force has been privatised as well, you know what I mean? We cannot allow this situation to happen, you know what I mean? It's, so uh, that, that, that was what I'm doing is, so for me it's not just about fracking, it's about uh, a lot of things, and uh, for, for example, uh, I've had people like the five. When I was in Fleetwood, I came to a local Fleetwood meet, meeting. I had uh, the five fire brigade, uh, five firefighters come to me and go, Bez, can you help us as well? I've had uh, nurses come up to me in Solvig because they've actually ended now in Solvig. If you're a pregnant woman, you do not get maternity care because they've ended it. There's no more midwives in Salford. You know what I mean? That imagine that. We we cannot accept that as to be normal. You know what I mean? I refuse to accept that the the, the, the mothers of Salford have got no maternity care anywhere. You know what I mean? That's insane, you know what I mean? So all all this shit's going on and I've got uh, I also this is even madder one who have had consultants to me for help is that I had the probation officers, the solicitors and the judges come along and ask me would I come along and support them as well because you no know, was the legal aid system ended uh, and that and uh, there's going to be absolutely no nobody unless you've got money to defend yourself are going to get any justice anymore in this country and the only people who are winning are the corporates and the bankers because they've got these, these plans like Fracking, or God knows what else what they've got going on in the mines, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, GM, uh, GM Foods is another thing that I'm standing against, and it's the same fella called Owen Patterson, he's a Conservative, um, um, what's he called, lobbyist. He's lobbying Europe at the moment, which is, which is like lobbying means bribery, they've got loads of money, and they'll lobby people with like, shit, I'll give you a cheque for 100 grand if you go in there and push for GM crops going in some, and this is what he's doing. He's giving money out to uh, rushing uh, GM uh, modified crops. This is how fracking has got into uh, England, you know what I mean? This fella is, is looking to destroy our natural ecosystem through fracking and bringing GM modified foods, because what's the pollen of this GM modified foods? Um, goes into to the atmosphere and the thing is that's the end of our natural ecosystem we will not be able to grow organic food anymore and the only seed we'll be able to uh, buy which will grow is Monsanto seed which has been GM modified because these this company who want to come into England with the crops is called Monsanto and they have painted in every fucking seed in the world so they own the rights to all the seeds in the world and uh, and we cannot have that, so, so you've got to go to uh, the, uh, one company, one company only to buy your seed, you've got to buy it every year, you won't, it won't be uh, uh, thingy food either, organic, if it's modified food, so it's had m most of what you want out of your food and veg taken away from it, it's been radiated for shelf life, so basically you're eating dead food, you know what I mean? And this is what they're, uh, uh, they're trying to bring in also, so I'm standing against uh, genetically modified, they're killing off the bee population as well, so we, we can't pollinate and grow our own food anymore. So there's a lot of issues going on on lots of different fronts where we're slowly being eradicated more or less, you know what I mean? And I've got no rights because we've got no money. So we, to me, that is not a situation I think it's healthy for, for uh, most of the population. So we've got to stand and uh, try and make some change and let them know that we ain't going to be walked over and we ain't going to be like left on the scrap heap, you know what I mean? And we want our rights, what we're entitled to, and we're, and we're, and we're willing to fight for it. So we now. Uh, uh, the, the, the only other party who are against fracking, uh, besides myself, is the Green Party. And I do like the Green Party and their policy, and I possibly would have joined them. But uh, I want to take it a step further, because uh, what they don't do, what I want to do, is make the bankers pay for, for their debt. 
they're sat there making shillings. Uh, they're saying how many billions they're going to make from fracking, but it don't come down to the local communities. It's just getting them richer, uh, us even poorer, because we're, like I said before, we've got no rights left. You know what I mean? Because they've been taking off us legal aid, blah, blah. Uh, the NHS has been closed down, privatised. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I know working families, they cannot even feed the both families at work and they cannot generate enough money for, for themselves to look after the families. They're struggling at the end of each month. Uh, our first candidate who's uh, running for us is an English teacher and she can't afford to have him pay him all his feed herself, keep the thing here. And she's an English teacher, you know what I mean? So she's our first candidate who's running in, in a, for the Earlham seat for us. So, uh, so uh, we're out now to make, try and make real change. We're a political party and we're going to try and stand up for the people who, who have got no voice. And uh, hopefully we can bring all these kids uh, who are 16 year old who don't phone people don't phone no more, they've gone in the path of their, they don't care because they think there's nobody you can vote for. But it's now got to a point that it's absolutely crucial that we do something, otherwise we're going to get the frat. frat. Uh, anything, everything we've had is going to be taken from us, you know what I mean? So we now can stand united with, with a party who has got policies but, uh, and do care for the people. And like I say, the policies are... Uh, Free energy, free food, free drinking water, free public transport and saving the NHS, you know what I mean? And that's uh, all doable and payable, even if the corporate, if we stay within the present banking system and we've got collected all the corporate tax, what's all right, like Google alone owes something like two billion, uh, Costco never pay that, like all these co American corporate companies are over here not paying. If they just pay for their, their taxes alone, that'd be enough to save the NHS and provide free public transport for everybody, you know what I mean? But uh, no, but instead they want to bring out this new law now, where they can, if you don't pay the tax, it's like OneGood.com, they just go straight in your bank account without permission, no call, and just take your money off you, you know what I mean? But they won't do that to the corporates and the bankers, you know what I mean? The bankers, are they're getting... What, what they're worth, trillions and trillions of pounds, getting richer. The poor are getting poorer because we're paying their debt off because they're trying to sell them. We've got to take responsibility for their shit. But sharing responsibility, you know what I mean? And they're like, well, they're not sharing their money out, are they? You know, where, where, what are you sharing with us? They're sharing nothing with us. That's what they're sharing and making us pay. That ain't right. So all these things we want to put right so if we get power, we can do this this job what I want to do, you know what I mean? And which is hopefully create a better place with renewable energy. Uh, the bank has been punished as, as it should have been. Uh, the, the, the people in, in uh, government and parliament who, uh, who, who uh, helped create this mess, who are partially responsible, punished also, you know what I mean? Because they, they got away with a, a, a hideous crime, scot-free, and, and and don't ask to account for what they've done, which is not, that, that is not what I call, no, a free society, you know what I mean, free just society, what's free and just about that, you know what I mean, so they've all more or less been given a license to do whatever they want uh, with no consequence. And we, we can we cannot we cannot live in a society like that where we're getting punished to death and they get away scot free and richer for everything they do. So uh, the reality part is standing against it. They, they, they know the, the, and speaking for the people and trying to speak for, for, for the rights what we are entitled to. So it's a it's a long way that you've uh, come from the days in the band then, isn't it? Well, yeah, I'm still in the band as well. I do all that, and plus all the other shit I do also, you know what I mean? Because uh, I've just finished building a load of hives, uh, putting three hive, beehives into the schools, along with juices, and uh, all going to season guy, and I'm doing all this with my own money, you know what I mean? I'm, uh, I'm raising money by, I'm selling off some paint miracles done by a local artist. Uh, there's, there's some there, uh, done the story, they put £500 contribution. So what I'm hoping to do is uh, roll out uh, permaculture across the nation uh, and try and get it on the school of curriculum so we can teach our young children 
uh, how to look after themselves, how to grow food for themselves, how to uh, you know, keep bees, the importance of bees, uh, and, uh, and, and the importance of health and being, having your body in an alkaline state. Because what, what we ain't sold is all these diseases like cancer, diabetes, is caused through having your body in a acidic, your body's in an acidic state. And if your body's acidic, uh, you're open to all these diseases. But if you get your body in an alkaline state, this is about prevention. It's been proven by science that cancer, diabetes, uh, and a host of other diseases cannot exist in an alkaline body. So we need to be teaching people about prevention and how to return the bodies in an alkaline state. So this is why I want to go in schools, teach about organic food, you know, the bees, you know, and try and get past this message on how to look after yourselves for the future. Because uh, like the idea comes to food banks. It's not a good idea really, you know what I mean? So we, you need to take responsibility back for yourself, for feeding yourself, for your own health, you know what I mean? Because like I said, the end of the NHS system, and all that, so we need to look at keeping ourselves well and how to do it, and it's simple science, really. You know what I mean? So this is the message what I'm trying to uh, get out there. Uh, so, uh, yeah, but that's before I got a photo of the politics. So I've got all these projects going on, plus now I've got all the politics going on also. So I, I might, uh, uh, I could do with a few extra hours in each day to be truthful, because I'm not getting enough time to get everything done what I want to do, and, uh, and like I say, I'm, I'm not getting enough time to do what my passion is at the moment, which is permaculture, creating free energy, because that, that's what my real passion is, and that's what I want to go out, and uh, thing you go here, I'll go, oh no, there's that kid again giving free energy away, you know what I mean? How magic would that be? So that was where my dream was coming from, you know what I mean? But now we're like, I'm involved in politics now, you know what I mean? Through a mad... Uh, uh, the bench, really. So here I am, at Fleetwood Football Club, <laughs> the, home, the home of the Cod Army. Cod Army! <laughs> Cod Army! <laughs> so um, we've got the event on the weekend coming up. Yeah. What's. Are you going to be here? Are you going to be doing. This weekend, is it? Uh, the the, 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 the anti-fracking. Uh, Frat Free Sunday. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, of course, I'll be here. Um, we've got some uh, uh, really good speakers. We've got the speaking between each band. Uh, we maybe have a few short films and, and, and uh, people who don't know about fracking, we uh, well, hopefully can bring uh, attention to them, right? So, and uh, we've got some great bands on and a great day of music, hopefully. And uh, a bit of Fleetwood Sunshine. We <laughs> yeah. Well, um, thanks for sitting down and having a chat. And All right, mate, not a problem. And thanks for listening to us. I hope you've got enough information there for your yeah. readers. I'm going to hit stop on that one.